watching our show for a while, you know that Carol and I enjoy a great cup of coffee in the morning. That's one of the simple pleasures of overlanding. And so for the last little while, we've been tasting a lot of different coffee beans, and we have come up with what we call the adventure roast. We're naming it after our three core values, work, play, and care. So click on the link in the description to get yourself a bag or two of our coffee for your next adventure. Welcome to another episode of the Epic Family Road Trip. After a wonderful stay at a cabin by the beach and a beautiful breakfast with fresh blackberries, we began driving down the coast of Washington. We are now in coffee roasting country and we made sure to stop in and get a local brew. Long Beach, Washington, right near the bottom. We're about a half an hour from Astoria crossing into Oregon, but we've driven by here a few times and never taken the time to come out, and I'm glad we did. It's gorgeous here. We stopped to let Lando stretch his legs, and then carried on south crossing the astoria Megler Bridge, which spans the lower Columbia between Oregon and Washington, and is the longest continuous truss bridge in North America. Another two hours drive south and we were at one of our favorite places on the west coast, Cape Kowanda. Carol's sister and family at Crowley House Flower Farm. Hey guys, we have been doing something a little bit different these last couple of days. Normally you'll see us camping in the wilderness, but we have been camping at a flower farm. 
This place is called Crowley House Flower Farm. It's run by my sister-in-law, Beth. But uh, yeah, Beth, just uh, tell us what you do here. So it's super fun. Our farm started just as a random, on a whim. I decided to grow some flowers to put together, um, just kind of on the table and for the home. And um, it ended up being now my full-time business. I went from career world to full-time flower farming, and I've been doing it for about 10 years. Um, my ultimate goal was to be able to stay home with my family and kids and just be a homemaker. And this has allowed me to do that, it allowed me to freedom to do it, and also to share the farm with folks that come by and just want to see this way of lifestyle. This is a little shop where you put together yeah. flowers, and we'll show how that all works in a minute. So the majority of our business now is basically we do weddings, events, we, ha we live in wine country, so there's a lot of events at the wineries. Um, we also host some gatherings here in the evenings for a sip and clip where people get to pick flowers and just create. It's just a magical time for people. And then our other main bulk of our business is we do sell wholesale to some wholesalers here and our flowers ship all over the United States, which is really kind of fun to see. Um, our little farm all over. Um, we do, in the holiday season, uh, we, we make wreaths and garlands and, and things like that with evergreens that here, the Pacific Northwest is known for that. You guys yeah. have seen that. Yeah, last year we got to drop in and, and make a wreath yeah. and learn how to do that. Oh, yeah, that, was, that, was, fun. that was super fun. I remember that. This place is magical around Christmas with the fir trees and, and making wreaths and going into the forest and collecting. Yep, it is. What do you call it, foraging? Yeah, so we do a lot of foraging. We have like a thousand acres just accessible to us right up here. And last year, I think we, we took you guys up there yep. and we just kind of cut a few things just to make a wreath. And So yeah. yeah, we're really looking forward to that and we're looking forward to taking you guys with us. So this is where we've set up camp. Um, you, there's a yurt in the background and Caroline has been staying in there with her cousins and um, we, Carol and I have set up our tent here. And what a beautiful place, you know, it's something different from the wilderness for sure. Uh, being on the farm, wa waking to the sound of the roosters and coming out and just picking fresh berries for breakfast and uh, vegetables and it's just a, a, a really neat experience. Overland travel is a wonderful way to experience not only wilderness and remote areas, but also quaint villages, historic sites, and interesting places to visit. So right now I'm learning how to cut for a wedding. What are those? These are dahlias. It allows us to move slow enough to appreciate the areas we visit, to get to know the people who live there, and to buy and eat locally grown, gathered, and harvested food. Camping at the Crawley House Flower Farm and participating in some of the work here is going to be an unforgettable experience. Hearts full, spirits renewed, and a bucket full of fresh picked vegetables, we head on down the road. We can't wait to make a meal with what we've harvested here. Thank you, Beth and Jason, for such a wonderful experience at your place.
Looks like someone's stuck up the beach, so we just popped down the tent for a minute, and we're gonna go see if we can help out. The tide is coming in, so uh, yeah, they're in a, looks like a car of some sort. I can't really tell from here, but yeah, they're not going anywhere. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, he's so good, so let's see if I can get the wind up. That was easy, <laughs> but we'll just have we'll follow him out. We'll make sure you get all the way out. Okay. If you get stuck again, we're right behind you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so we got the car out, but you know the coolest part is meeting people. We just met two families there that are just newbies at uh, full-time travel so one's in a big bus and uh, another in a motorhome and they've got young kids and they're just ecstatic and I remember the feeling uh, you know five years ago when we were just getting started the world is your oyster and, and they're just bursting with energy first time for them at, at the coast here and they're loving it but the waves are coming in take a look <laughs> like I got out just on time
darling, I know it's hard to let go. Soon I will hold you again. Longer days when I'm away, but we'll both pretend to be bold. Cozy? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is what the boys need to build. Yeah. Super cozy. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road. <laughs> <laughs>